What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last MTSU video we took on Florida Atlantic had no real issues there 135 to 13 we're now 7 to 2 and more importantly we got a handful of commitments we'll check that out here in a little bit but the day we're taking on Arkansas State probably going to be our toughest conference game of the schedule they're 8 and 1 and they were actually on an 8 game win streak until they just got beat by whoever What's funny is, you know, you look at their stats, nothing is very impressive. Really, I mean, their pass defense is okay, but somehow they're still winning a ton of ball games. Now, they run a balanced offense. Uh, they tend to want to run the ball more than throw it. I think it was 65-35 on the run-pass ratio, and they run a 4-3 defense. As usual, we'll work off their impact players and go from there. So like I just said, recruiting went well in the last video. We ended up getting three commitments. Jermaine Medley, a guard out of Pleasure Ridge Park, Kentucky. Matt Carter out of Harrison, Tennessee, a tackle. And hopefully the quarterback of the future for us is Alan Upshaw out of uh, Hartsell, Alabama. Really excited about this kid due to his accuracy. I like his height. Perfect setup for what we're wanting. He doesn't have the strongest arm. But he more than makes up for it with his accuracy. So that's a good base to work off of as we head into the offseason fairly quickly. Now let's go to ESPN the magazine, see if we need to see anything here. Uh, Heisman Watch doesn't affect us. Uh, I'm just curious to see who's on here. A bunch of quarterbacks and halfbacks and such. Award semifinalists. I don't... Is this the first time we've got the... I think this is the first... Yeah, this is the first week of this. So, Eugene Gross made the Maxwell. He's number seven. A lot of that has to do with his touchdowns. We just got a lot of goal line uh, stuff where we just kind of give him the ball. Makes sense to do so. But he's doing okay in the uh, passing game as well. So, he's got over 1,000 yards of total offense. Good to see that. The big Narek, defensive-wise, I don't think we'd have anybody on here. Quarterback Marks, I don't think he has enough touchdowns to be on here. Most of these guys have 24, you know, look at the very top here. Graham Harrell, of course, this is an air raid offense. They're going to throw a ton. But 41 touchdowns already through probably eight games, which is incredible. Like, he's going to shatter some records. Uh, let's go to the Walker Gross. He's right there at the four spot. Wide receiver. I don't, we distri distribute our uh, the ball around a little too much for somebody to be on here. Tight end, I don't think. Jacola would be on here. He just hasn't had enough touchdowns. Now, second half of the season, he has. Offensive line, uh, we don't pancake enough. That's just the way the game is kind of set up. So don't be surprised if we ever have anybody on here. Unless we just run the ball all the time. That'd be about the only way to do it. Remington, same with the center. Lombardi, here's where we get the defensive side of things. I don't think we'll have anybody on any of these lists. I just don't remember having any player that has a ton of great stats. Kicker, we don't kick enough. Punter, we don't punt enough. Return, I don't see anybody here. Uh, coach, we may be on here. Nope, they're not on there at all. So, looks like it's gross, and that is it. So, hopefully he can keep doing his thing, and he may sneak out and win something. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's go to conference standings. We'll check out our screen here. It all looks real clean. We don't have any injuries. Marks, Gross, and Ingram, the big three, are doing their thing. Uh, defensively, nothing has really changed there. Rainey is leading both in tackles and in interceptions, although I think we got a couple of other guys maybe with three picks. And let's check out Arkansas State right behind us. They got a wide receiver and a quarterback out. Now, the wide receiver, we don't know if he's their top guy. Same with the quarterback. I don't know who their main guy is. It's either the guy who's injured or that Leonard player. Either way, I'm not seeing a whole lot of things that scare me right there, but obviously their one loss was to who? The number one team of the country in Auburn, 38-3. So they have a pretty good team. So I'm curious to see how this shakes out. But let's look at the conference here. This is actually a, like our, our biggest game by far for the conference. Win this one, and I think we got a good chance of winning out uh, – to snag the conference championship. If not, they're going to have basically a two-game lead on us, and it'll be tough to overcome. So hopefully we can get the win, day, win today and seal the deal. 
that's all we need to see. My playbook, like I said in the previous video, I'm sticking with the Cal Default playbook because it's just another West Coast uh, playbook for me to play around with. A handful of new formations and plays and such, and I get the full round with the formation audible. So I'm going to stick with that one for uh, quite a while until I feel like moving on to another one. Okay, let's take on Arkansas State. I think I may go all blue today if I don't forget to change it. Oh, yeah, we're on the road. I'm going to have to go with something else. Uh, I can do all white. I think they do all black. I, I want to throw some blue in there, so we may stick with the default road uniform. Somebody's in trouble. Corner, our top guy. What's wrong with him? Let's see. Robinson was caught stealing clothes at a local shopping mall. Jeez. Our action must be swift and stern. Okay, I don't mind definitely uh, suspending him. Now, I'm going to suspend him. <laughs> I hope everybody got to read the comments in the last video. For some reason, I thought, okay, there is a season type. That's a, For some reason, we didn't have that option when we suspended what's-his-face in the last game, or in the last video, or backup tight end. Technically, we sus can suspend this guy for a full season. If you do up to three games, it's the same deal. If you do season, I think that forces you to, he won't play the conference champ, or the, uh, bowl game perhaps i'm not quite sure what the difference is i'm guessing there is a difference otherwise why bother using both here either way we're going to do we're going to suspend him the rest of the regular season it gets that bar down and it still gives us points to spare now it does stink that he's our top guy we're gonna have to check our cornerback situation to see how much we can go nickel i don't know how much depth we have there so now those two guys are out for the remainder of the regular season. Hopefully we can survive at least a day. We can just get through the day. Then I think we'll be okay without them. Ooh, looks like we got heavy rain in the forecast. They want the ball first, which is fine. There's no wind. Let's check out our cornerback situation. He is out today. Impact guy, too. That stinks. 80, 72, and 70. I'm still gonna, probably going to do everything like normal. Let me check here. Awareness, that's still okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do everything as normal. There's not a big drop-off from a number three guy to a number four. So whenever I go up against a four or five wide set, we'll still go nickel. We've got no choice. So our he also is starter on our kickoffs. So it looks like Suber and Williams will be our two guys in, on special teams, on return. Okay, let's check out their roster. So their starting quarterback is out today. That's good. It's a bit of a drop-off to their second guy. He's got 72 speeds. That doesn't bother me too much. I think we can go after him pretty hard. Nothing at halfback. I, I don't know why this guy isn't starting. Uh, O'Neal, pretty good fullback, but he's not an impact guy. Wide receiver definitely is. It's his number two guy that's out today. So it's a big drop-off after this guy. That tells me they may throw the ball a little bit more today than usual. Two good-looking tight ends. They're young, too. So if anybody ever wanted to start a dynasty, wanted a couple good tight ends to work with, and wanted to be a group of five school, you may want to look at this team. 78, 74, a really good center. 82 and 72. It's like they're better up the middle than anything else. They run a 4-3, 78, 82 on the ends, 80 and 76, 74, 76, 74. So their front seven is just okay. Not a bad corner, but a bit of a drop-off after him. That guy's got 95 speed, too. A really good free safety and a really good strong safety. So their strength is definitely at the safety positions. That'll be interesting. Okay. Kicker, 76. Punter, 78. Average kickers. All right, I think we're ready to go. I think I'm going to kick this off like normal. I don't think either one of those guys is an impact guy. and They're not. Somebody get a stop there. And we got a player hurt out of the gate. Injured his chest. That probably won't be too big of an injury. Let's do quarters for now at a 4-3. 
First and ten. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. They're gonna throw. Ah. I didn't know who to go after. On that one, uh, let's do quarters from here. We'll go nickel since we're spreading it out. Get some extra speed on the field. That's a good little run there. Pick up the first. I couldn't tell exactly which run that was. I'd have to go back and look at it. We may stay in quarters a lot today. Unless they decide to run the ball quite a bit. Going with the run play. Ooh, a fumble. I think he ran into his own player. No. One of my guys made the fumble. Okay. Good to know. Uh, let's do a zone blitz. Let's see if we can't go after this guy. Hopefully they will pass. Ah. Good play call. Ran to the opposite side of the blitz. So it's third and seven. I'm going to do cover three. I'm going to control a defensive end. Ah. All day to throw. Good defense. I think somebody got a hand on it or hit the guy one or the other. That's a good stop. We'll go... Let's do all-out block. I think we're not going to have enough room to do any returns. We'll probably end up having to fair catch this. They got a lefty punter. Yep, yeah, they're going to fair catch that one. Okay. Let's go. Let me make some changes here. We'll do that. Let's do flanker curl. We're going man. Not a real big shift. I'm going to leave it as is. Good little play to Williams. We can go. Uh, I had something on my mind here. What was it? Now let's just do curl flat. We're going zone. I got a couple options. I go to my halfback. Ooh, we're going to spread it out. Ooh, okay. Great little play there. Pushed me for another five more yards, it seems. Okay, off to a decent start. Let's do counter. As long as they don't shift hard to the left, we're definitely going to go that direction. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. Ah, perfect defense. That guy came right on through. Couldn't get the block on him. My pulling guard just decided not to... I don't know. Just couldn't block him. Okay. Uh, we'll go here, and do I have it from this? Yes. We're going to go curl halfback swing. We're going zone. We'll definitely pinch in. Ah. I think we got them off sides, though, thankfully. That gives us a second and nine. That's why I snapped it so quick. That was really good defense, though. Wasn't the best throw either. We're going to call the same play. We're going man this time, what we may do. I'm going to think I'm going to leave the protection as is. Just pick up the first there. We can try. Uh, I'm going to try counter again. This time we'll go to a different formation. Let's do counter trap. We're going zone 4-3 under. They're doing that. We're going left. Uh, 
Well, they're doing a good job stuffing down or stuffing my defense or my run game. Ooh, let's go. Let's go deep comeback. Let's see if we can hit this comeback on the left. They're spreading out. I could go up the gut here with the run, but we need the yards. That's a terrible throw. I don't know what happened. He didn't throw it hard. I thought I threw it on. He must have got hit as soon as he threw it. Ah, yeah. Timing was bad on my part. It's third and 12. Uh, I need to check. I need to do an audible. An actual audible. I may call that same play again. Let's do that. Because I like the yards we can get of it against zone. So we're going to try this again. I'm going to leave the protection as is. And we'll, let's just spread it out. Nope, intercepted. Ooh, great defense. Wow, i got to go back and look at that. And so it's third and seven. Let's go back and look at that. That's just a... They went cover two? That was just a really good defense. So I, when I see that, I need to just go... I probably need to go to this guy right here. I, it's my fault. I, I stare too much at that deep comeback. So that needs to be my number two guy, especially if it's cover two. Okay, so it's third and seven. Let's do that. I'm going to call deep comeback again. This time we're going man. So what I want to do here... We're going to do that. I'm going to... I dang it. I, I'm going to have to call a timeout. I, I picked the wrong audible. I didn't mean to... Dang it. <laughs> Let's go back to set audibles. I picked the same play. I was supposed to pick this one out right here. Where's it at? Where's it at? That's the one I want. I'm an idiot. Well, let's just go with team. Do deep comeback. Sort of the going zone. Ugh. Ooh, no, they're going man. They went man to stand a zone. I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. That's a good play. Thankfully, we got the first down against cover two. Oh, that was a mess. Uh, let's try. Let's do toss. First and ten. Ball on the 16 -yard line. We're going to go to a right. Get a block from that guy. Dang, I had good, good play by the safety. Fullback couldn't get a block on him. Yeah, get excited. You got a yard. Uh... Trying to think of some plays we haven't called. Let's go back to curl flat. I want to see if I get the tight end going. It's like my tight end will get the touch the ball here. Wow, they're jumping the gun on those. I'm going to get a six points. Good for the touchdown. Touchdown. Good for the tight end. We will decline that for six points. Let's look at the instant replay. I might get a decent one here. Okay. I like what I saw there. I may use something there for a thumbnail. Took us forever to get down the field, but... You know, what's funny with this offside stuff... I'm able to catch them offsides, but what happened in the last game? Florida Atlantic... Done an incredible job. They never bit. They may have bit on one or two. We've already seen three in this, you know, drive alone. But that's a good way to mitigate jump the snap a bit. So, I guess we need to keep passing. I'm not going to give up the run game, but they shut that down pretty easily. We may try a different concept or two. We may do some more up-to-gut stuff. Slam, maybe dive. I don't know. We'll see when we get back on the... On that side of the ball. Let's go one high. The Arkansas State Indians will start the drive at the 23-yard line. First and ten. 
move over. I'm okay with that. Ugh. They're going to pass. And a fumble. They got the ball back. I wonder how he fumbled it. Somebody come through. Sack fumble. I guess that's kind of a normal thing. I don't know. Shoe make. I'm going to do a zone blitz. We're going to take a chance here. Don't run to the left. Go on pistol. They are the only team that has a pistol formation outside of Nevada. Just food for thought there. Nevada has all eight pistol formations. Arkansas State's the only one that has one, and it literally just has one. So keep that in mind. Just a bad play all around. So we'll definitely take that. Let's do... Uh, no, I want to see if we can return it. I was about to go all out block. I think you could block kicks in the... I mean, block a punt. We've seen a kick... What was an extra point get blocked? So we know that's possible. Punts, I'm sure, are possible as well. But I want to return this thing. Eh, just nothing there. Very fortunate we didn't fumble it. Okay, let's go. Here, let's pick a play we haven't called yet. I want to go split in drag. If we're going zone, I'll probably keep this short. I'm going to shift to the right. Wow, he went again. And a fumble. Here we go. Well, it's Fumble City. I, I, maybe it's the rain. I don't know, but... <sighs> what do you do? So that's, what, three fumbles already this quarter? Get a sack there. It helps that he went play action, so we'll go quarters here. Second and fifteen. Ball on the forty nine yard line. Let's say oh everybody's going deep. Make a play. Ooh, wow. I interesting little play there. It's a good tip. I'm starting to think weather really affects these games because I think the one bad game we had this year, turnover-wise, like both teams, was Louisville. That was a rain game. This is a rain game. Uh, I want to go... Let's do a West Coast concept. Let's go... Corner sit. We're going man. Oh, they got me just leave this. Uh, we'll spread it out, maybe. They came through. Somebody came through. And they just brought an extra blitzer. That's just a good play call. Uh, let's see what we have here. I want to try to toss one more time. And they're spreading out. Or at least it looked it. We're doing that. We're going to go to her left. Got some yards, but then our tight end is out. I swear. That's elbow. That's If he goes down, then we're out of tight ends. Uh, third and six. We'll do deep comeback. They're going man, so I'm going to go to my audible. It should be working now. I don't know who can hear it. Give it to Suber or Speedster. Pick up the first down. Now, I'm going to go right back to him. Let's do full back over. I really want to try to get the run game going, but they may not let me today. I'm like, they're really shutting it down. Wow, just nothing. The run game is non-existent today. So, let's... Uh, let's go curl flats. 
They're going zone. I'm going to try a couple different things here. Well, if we can just... And a fumble. Another fumble. Hmm. Third and three. Let's go tight end corner. We're going man. Our tight end is still out. So that's worrisome. But we're going to go... To our halfback. Pick up the first there. And he just broke the single season record for the school. That's pretty cool. We do have this formation. Let's let's go here. I don't let's do some shotgun. I don't mind doing that. We're going man. Who's on who? See if I'd have known that, I I'd almost wouldn't go over the top here. Great play here. Curl route that went man. If you let the CPU handle the rest of it, that's a good... I may pick that one later. That's my thumbnail. At this point, as soon as... I'm still holding down the circle button. I'm not touching anything else. I'm still holding it. I'm still holding it. I'm letting the computer handle that turn. I probably would have done a worse job of it. So something to think about there. Okay, we're going to... I know they're going to go... Yeah, they're going to go goal line. That's what I expected. And they're doing that. Ooh. If I bring this guy over, what happens? Nothing. Uh, let's, no, let's just bring that over. Just great defense all around. So we're going to... Uh, we're on the six. Can we... Let's do curl halfback swing. They're going zone. And they're going goal line, too. Ah, jeez. I just did on the six-yard line. I didn't know what they was going to do. And my tight end almost got in the end zone. So we are on the one. I'm going to try. Just try to get in the end zone here for a touchdown. We're going to go to the left. And didn't get in. Dang it! Uh, let's just kick the field goal. I don't want to trust our offensive line. We're just not running the ball at all today. I mean, we just can't get anything going. So I don't want to trust us to get that one measly yard. And I don't know how of another way to get in the end zone. Because goal line just isn't very good in these games. So we'll just get the field goal and be done with it. I need to work on my goal line stuff. I need to find something else that'll work. Unfortunately, this playbook does not have any big sets. That's the downside, biggest downside to this one. There's no 22 personnel. It's all 21 and lighter. Okay. I'm going to go back. To his own blitz. I feel like they're throwing a little bit more now. Oh, they went run. <laughs> Fake me. <laughs> I thought they went play action. Second and eight. We'll go quarters. They are going gun spread flex. I think that's what that is. I'm glad I made the tackle there. It kind of came out of my camera view. Couldn't really tell what was happening. Uh, let's go. Let's go basic cover three. I'll control a defensive lineman. Maybe I can get around him. Let's control Mosley.
all day to throw, though. Oh, got the sack. He had time to throw, but I guess he couldn't find anybody. So that's a good stomp. We're going to try to return this, if possible. I may need to try all out blocks every so often in these situations. Because you may have a chance to block them. I don't... I just don't do it enough. I always would prefer to return it myself. I figure like we got a better chance of scoring. So I probably should have called a timeout, but I'm going to let them run out the rest of that clock. That's smart strategy there. We are on the 47 with a minute to go. We need to get down the field a little bit. So let's go here. Uh, scissors in. We're going man. Uh, man, I hope we can protect here. Nope. Came right on through. Had no chance. Had no chance whatsoever. So our tight end is still out. I don't know. That's, that's not a good thing. We're going zone here. We're going to do split and drag. Eh, just destroyed me there. So that clock's going. So what I think I may do... Is our tight end heard? I haven't seen it say anywhere. Am I missing something? He's out for the game. Well, I guess it could be worse. Do sets out for the game. Are, am I missing that? I have not seen where they've told us that both of them are out. So... Um, Let's just run the ball. I don't mind doing that. There we go. I guess I wasn't patient enough. I'm just going to run the ball. They're going. They will call a timeout after this, but I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. They're not going to have enough time unless they get really lucky. There we go. Get the first down there. We're going to call a timeout. Uh, we probably need to get in the in the shotgun here. What do we have that I can use here? Uh, scissors. Uh, oh, I split and drag is about the safest one I feel comfortable with. All right, they're going man. I think they're bringing everybody here. He's coming down. Terrible throw. One on one situation. So five seconds. We're on the 42. Can we? I'm going to. Let's just do something quick. See if we can get a few more yards before we have to go deep here. Sack. Well, somebody must have came through. Wow, look at this. Little scrape exchange. That's we've seen that in 09. I've not, I'm shocked by this. Both of them just missed him. I just that's an 09 problem there. At least that's when I used to see it on the 45. So what we can do is go offense, go receiving. We'll go hail mary, and I want the. I'm not a fan of any of those. Mm. We're gonna do the one in the middle. I want to get my halfback involved in it as well. Can I heart route him? Let's see if we can hot round him. Ooh, it's under center. I didn't think about that. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get lucky here. It was worth the shot. Okay. Ten to nothing. It's a pretty tight game. We can check out some scores here or some stats. 150. They got a grand total of one yard of offense. Wow. Quarterbacks playing terrible, running back, running games terrible for both teams. I I don't know if it's because you know turnovers. We've only got two turnovers, but four fumbles already in interception. I don't know. Still got a long way to go. All right, let's get back into it. We got the ball back at least. Maybe we can stretch the lead. I'm gonna let that one go. Um, 
I want to keep trying to toss a canner. If it, I'm, I may have to give up on them today. It, they just may not work. See, that's a great shift on that end. Uh, just perfect defense. I need. I guess I need to go up the gut more. So much for that idea. And I don't have a tight end to work with. So, I mean, what do I have to use? I don't... They're going man here. Ah, whew, just enough. Didn't get the first, though, but that's okay. That's a good little quick out. I didn't know who was defending him. Looks like this guy on the far end was defending Super, who had no chance to make a play there. Killer catch by Super. I guess it just wasn't a very good throw. Knocked it off his helmet and he picked it up. I may be playing the game right there if we can keep this drive going. Let's go tight end corner. We're going man. Let's we'll see if we can just bounce this to our halfback. I'm going to leave that as is. Just get towards the sideline so that impact player can't do anything to us. So let's go. Let's try up the middle. I don't know. Let's go dive out of ace wide trips and see what happens. We're going zone. We're doing that. We'll, we'll, yes, I like where I'm at here. So a broken tackle made this play. We got lucky there. That guy barely missed us. And at that point, I'm just hoping he doesn't fumble it. So right hash. Uh, I kind of like what we saw there. Let's do the same thing. Let's do it from slot. They're going zone. And they're going 4-3 this time. And they're doing that. Let's go left. That's just good defense. Second and eight. We're going to flip it. We're going to go angle post. Going zone. This will go to Gross or Henry. I think he bounced into us. Yep. So for every jump the snap they have, we're going to come right back at them with an offside. So it's second and three. Well, let's go to something else. Let's go corners. We're going man. I'm a little worried about this, to be honest. Intercepted. Yeah, just... That's a bad man beater, and my quarterback is hurt. Oh, jeez. What a terrible day. Everybody's getting hurt. Pray that it's not serious. Oh, my gosh. What do you do? Go tight end corner. We're going man, so we're going to go to our half back again. I don't think I got him off sides. That's okay. We're going to get the first. Uh, let's go. Let's try full back over. See, that's the funny thing. They're doing a lot of 4-3, you know, 4-down linemen stuff. Yeah, they're just shutting us down on the outside. Pretty easily. Just, I just... Jump the snap, destroyed us. Right guard got annihilated, and it was just, I mean, when you get stuck on them, you know, just nothing you can do. So second and 14, uh, I think we're like in the middle of the field. Let's try deep outs. What I'm going to do here, let's look at my situation here. Uh, I'm going to do that. Let's go with the curl. I think that was a, 
it's a little quicker. So it's third and one. I'm going to go back to that same play. It's bailed us out all day on third and one. Third and short. We'll go back to tight end corner. We're going zone this time, so we'll go to Williams. We'll shift our line. Hmm. Got his head knocked off. We are uh, first and goal. I'm going to try counter. We're going zone. Uh, what happens if I bring this guy over? Uh, let's let's go left. Another offside. So I would might as well. I don't know that they keep. The problem is now we're stuck on goal line, and I just don't. We're gonna try to toss. It's not gonna work. But I should not have done that. I should have just left them. We should have just ran the play. It's what I should have done. Just terrible, terrible. Just blocking's awful. Well, thankfully, they, that's not a gimme play. Otherwise, we'd be going toss all day. Curl halfback swing, I guess, or going zone. A little worried that we're not going to get much out of this. I get some yards. So let's go. It's third and goal. I want to go. We're on the seven. Let's go curl flat. I think they're going man. They are going man. I'm going to try to go to my curl. There we go. Took us forever to get down the field. I mean, look at that. We took up the, almost the entire quarter. Just a bad day offensive offensive line-wise for both teams. Just can't get anything going. So, we haven't heard back on our quarterback. I completely forgot about him. Unless... Okay, never mind. Unless he was out there and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I must have missed it. Hopefully he's okay. We're going to find out sooner or later. Somebody get a stop there. Are they going to gain more than 50 yards today? That should be their goal. Because right now, offensively, they can't do diddly-poo. Intercept that. Ooh. Did he drop her? Did he get hit? That was actually a good throw. That wasn't on the quarterback. We'll go quarters. They went counter. There's nothing going. Get a stop here, and I think the game is over with. And unless something goofy happens, we turn the ball over a ton, which is, you know, more than possible. Good protection. Wide open, Ed. Oh, wow. And he fumbles it. <laughs> Gee, what an interception and a fumble. And just... Yeah, there's only three turnovers today, but we all know we've had like five fumbles. I like that. I think the run game or the uh, the uh, I think the rain is what's affecting a lot of this. I really do. Let me look here. Let's do QB ramp. I just want to do some shotgun stuff. We are definitely handing this off. Marks is back. Woo! Get some yards there. Second and three. Let's do blast. I got my fullback in there, so this may not work. Let's go. 
we're going to leave it as is. No, they're going man. I wonder what happens if I... That's the short. That's the... That's the deep. Intercepted. Ooh, that was dumb on my part. Those rats didn't go together. That was my fault all around. I shouldn't have done any of that. Uh, let's go back to tight end corner. We're going man. We'll just get this out quick if possible. I think we got them off sides. I pressed that button like one too many times. We're going to decline it though. Uh, let's go. End of the quarter. Get one more touchdown here and this thing will be over with. Let's do counter weak. I want to have one good run play here today. Just If I could just get one, that'd be great. I like what I see here. I think I'm going to leave it as is. We may get something here going. Good little run there. Let's go back to counter. I want to do it from here this time. We're going man again. Hard shifting all around, but I wonder if what happens if I do this. Nothing really happens. And yeah, let's bring him over. Good defense. Just came right on through. Sticking to that. Uh, let's just run the ball again. Let's run some clock. We're kind of doing that in a sense because I'm doing so much pre sap stuff, but. Kudos to them. They've shut down my run game. I just can't really get much of it going. Ah, just. We got yards, but just wasn't the best, but that's okay. Uh, third and five. I'm going to go back to curl flat. Hit one of these curls and be done with it. Let that clock roll. We have a matchup on the right side, so we'll probably go to Williams here. It's a little congested over there, so I may just go to my curl on the left. Get a touchdown. Let the computer handle it after the snap. It's just easier. Or after the catch. Alright. Good deal. Now, I got a comment from somebody. And this concerns me a little bit. I've mentioned it since the beginning. For whatever reason, CPU offenses just don't really dominate. The, the, the struggle on Heisman, for whatever reason. Now, I can do a few things to mitigate that. Now, somebody in that comment mentioned he's got his... He played as Montana, and he beat Ohio State and Notre Dame by 50 points apiece on Heisman. And with the CPU sliders jacked up to 100 and him at default. So he can either put his sliders down to zero, and if that doesn't work, then... The only thing I can offer is run something harder on offense or defense. Like, I would be a lot more... I would play a ton of man. I think the CPU does a whole lot better against man. That should have been dropped, or it should have been caught. I don't know why it wasn't. But there, are, I guess there are ways around it. You just got to test it out some. This game, I'm having enough fun with it to where it's worth me trying out and testing it and making it challenging. Now, I've already lost a couple games, so it does, I haven't got to really feel that yet. Of course, it was against two really good teams, but at least I got beat by them, so I don't, it, you know, I'm okay with where things are at right now. But in time, if I feel like I need to adjust something, the first thing I would do is actually make myself worse. Like, I'm going to wait until... Oh, well, let's just finish this play out. Ooh, first down. What I would do, what I plan on doing, 
my, I got a really good quarterback. He's played great all year. He's an impact guy. That's why I think he's throwing so well. Plus, it's West Coast offense. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna have high completion percentages. I want to see what my back, my what my quarterback does next year. This guy is nowhere near as good. He doesn't have the arm like he, this guy does. And if he still is throwing seventy something percent or whatever, then I what I may do is just lower my QB accuracy down or something. But I, I gotta wait and see how he handles it first for a few games. So we'll see how all that goes. That'll come in time. Second and ten. Like, for example, let's just go man the rest of the way. Let's just see how easy it is for this quarterback to get down the field if I do nothing but man. I'll control a safety. That'll force him to throw deep a little more. See? See? Just an easy man beater. So I could throw a ton of man at him, and that may be a little bit easier for them to get down the field. And that way, you have no choice but to really recruit well. Like, get the best athletes you can out on defense. So I may try some of that. Like, I just may stick with cover two man. Let's just see what happens here. The game is over with, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. See, just a pitch, a little man beater, third and five. I'm going to go cover two man the rest of the way. Third and five. Otherwise, I'll do something a little bit different. But they keep throwing bigger sets at me, or lighter sets. At least they're making completions now. See, zone, I think the defense struggles against zone a whole lot more than to do man. That's one of the reasons why you see me call zone all the time. It just make it, zone's just tougher. It's tougher for me. So you know it's going to be tougher for the CPU. There you go. First down. So they're slowly moving the ball. They may call offsides here for that guy. Okay, he got over. Ooh, he was wide open on the right or left. See, shallow from the right side, a great man beater. So that's a, like the simplest answer. If you don't want to touch ratings, you may want to try this. Throw man at them a ton. They will complete a little bit better. So like on this drive alone, how many yards has this quarterback gotten? Just on this one drive. All because I've been going man as of late. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of man outside of cover one and zero and two. So it's kind of bland in terms of your play selection. There's just not a whole lot of stuff to work with. But I can go cover one if I felt like they was going to run the ball, but I think they're destined to throw. Somebody must have got to him. Third and 15, so we can try. Cover two man. I'll, I'll stick with the safety. He's going to run with it, and I ain't going anywhere. So it's fourth and forever. We'll do an under front as is. Let's see if I have to make any adjustments on it. Nope. Came out perfectly. That's good. We're going to back everybody up. A lot more uh, exciting when you play man because you got a lot. To, I don't know, it's just a lot more risky. <laughs> uh, but we still got to stop. But at least they move the ball some. So you know, there's things could be done there. I want to go back to my two favorite plays. Let's go back to toss and counter. And they're going zone dime. I may just run up the gut here. I want to what my uh, formation audible is. It's probably ISO. It's going to be that, which I'm fine with. So we're going to run to our right. Good play there. It's a good switch up. I, uh, they are not going to call timeouts. So we're just going to take a knee throughout. Okay, game over. Good win. We'll run out this clock here. 
I did barely, didn't even get 300 yards today, but that's okay. It took us forever to get down the field on several of those drives, but looks like the turnovers went down a little bit towards the second half. Thankfully, I was getting a little worried in the first. But they weren't as bad. Now, there were probably a total of five fumbles today, but that's actually less than what we've seen in the past. So again, switch up your schemes. That's maybe the simplest thing. If you're running a bunch of stuff that's kind of easy, you know how to, uh, you know, uh, I, won't, I don't want to say exploit, but some plays work better than others in this game. It's like any other game out there. So that's what I may try to do. But anytime I run a new dynasty, I'm going to run a new offense anyway. So that kind of takes care of itself. So, all right, let's look at some stats. Only 295 yards. Our run game was terrible today. Kudos to Arkansas State. They just shut it down. Thankful the passing game was great. It always is. As long as I got protection, I'm going to put up decent numbers here. And like I said, their quarterback played a whole lot better in the second half, especially on that last drive. He was actually completing stuff. That's because I threw a ton of man at him. Again, try that. Sacks, we done a great our offense or defensive line done a great job getting after the guy. Here's the key to the game right here. Third down conversions, 10 of 12 to their one of seven. That's a bad percentage. Only three turnovers, but we did have five fumbles technically and two interceptions. That one last interception, he just kind of chucked it up there. It just it wasn't gonna work. Uh Biggest thing was the penalties. I was able to get them off sides a few times. Let's go to individual stats. Marks, thankfully, he's healthy. Our run game is all gross. Ended up with 65 yards, but it just wasn't... It got mitigated by some sacks we gave up. Receiving, gross. Williams, Ingram, super. Just our typical guys. Thankfully, our tight end is not seriously injured as well. We actually got some pancakes today. That's good. More than usual. Defensively, looks like Rainey. It's just he's our best defensive player. I guess that's me controlling him most of the time. But Rainey, he just he's playing great. Five tackles, the one tackle for loss, and a sack. Harris and Wilson got two uh, interception apiece. And let's get out of here. So our recruiting is over with, so we can go right into these games. But our next video will be a Hawaii video. I think we're finally caught up to that dynasty. So we can kind of go back and forth there. Uh, again, just a uh, Hawaii video coming up next. I'm trying to think that'll be like on Sunday. And then uh, from there, I'm not sure. I'm working on a cool 07 project I'm having a lot of fun with. I'm looking forward to revealing that next week, maybe. We'll see how that goes. But a lot of cool stuff happening around Playbook Gamer. Make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. I don't like to promote it too hard. If, if you like something, if you like my video, subscribe. And if you don't, don't subscribe. It's simple. Okay. Next up, we have Buffalo. That'll be like at least two videos from now. They are 3-7, and seven, having a bad year. They're not really good at anything. Hopefully, we can take care of business there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.